Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be restoring and customising a Corgi Wizwheels Ferrari 512S. These were produced by Corgi from 1971 until 1973. The 512S was a Group 5 sports car and Ferrari built 25 of them around 1970. They were named the 512 after the 5 litre 12 cylinder engine. And I'm going to be customising my one to look a bit like the one that you can get in Forza Horizon 4. So let's just take a look at our example off the turntable. It's missing quite a bit of that paint there. Tired looking old wheels on it. It's missing its sticker at the front. A nice solid metal whiz wheels base on it. And unfortunately it's got a crack in the windscreen and a bad mark on the rear louvers there. So I'll take the car apart. The posts are outies so I start with a round burr on my Dremel and make a couple of little dents to get me started. And then I can move on to a 4mm drill, I'll drill the posts out. And then I can take it all apart, just pop the bottom off there first. And then the interior and the windscreen. And it leaves the body of the car ready for paint stripping. I'll just use some paint stripper, paint it all over the model and the paint's all wrinkled up. And I can rinse it off. And I'm left with this. Not much paint left on that anymore. Next I'm going to pop these old wheels and axles out from the base. There's a couple of pieces of wire there as a suspension. I drill and tap the posts on the body of the car. Next I give the castings a good clean up with a wire wheel on my rotary tool. This will get rid of the oxidation and that remaining paint that's on there. Now the two fins at the back here are quite badly bent so I'm just going to carefully bend them back straight with some pliers. And once they're straightened up, I give them a bit of a sand just to smooth off any rough areas. Now there's this big round dent in the bonnet there. I guess that was to help the workers line up the white sticker for the front. I don't want that dent to be there really, so I start by filling it up with some epoxy putty. I'm 
And then this was left to cure. There we go, it's nice and hard now. I'm going to start working it away with my Dremel. Then onto a needle file. And finally some sandpaper. And here's how it's looking after the first sanding session. I'm going to give it a quick blast with some grey primer. Give me a better idea of where I'm up to. And again, I'm going to sand it down and get rid of those lumps that were in it. And here it is after the second coat of primer. It's looking pretty smooth now. So next I give it a nice coat of black primer. And then I painted the whole thing a nice red. And I painted in a couple of details. And here is a little wee Ferrari badge that I've printed on some A4 paper and carefully cut out. And I'm just using a little tiny bit of PVA glue here to stick it in place. Remember PVA is good for stuff like this because it sets completely clear. And just placing my little badge on the bonnet there. I like making them out of the A4 paper because it means they stand up a tiny bit and look sort of 3D as opposed to a decal which is a bit flatter. So onto the base now. There's nothing wrong with this. All I'm going to do is paint it black. There we go. It's looking nice and tidy. Now here are the plastic parts. The cracked windscreen. The interior there I could probably salvage with a little bit of work. But definitely I can't do anything about that windscreen and we can't have our Ferrari looking like that. So I've gone and sourced myself some replacement parts. And I'm just going to paint the interior and the rear louvers there black. Now in the original cars they were white and in Forza they are transparent. So I decided to go with black as it's a closer thing to transparent I think. So that was the old wheels. At least I think it was. I've got so many old wheels lying around on my desk now. Anyway, they're no good for it. So I'm going to be replacing them with these cool aftermarket ones. But they're black. I want them to be gold. So here they are. I've painted them with Vallejo metal color gold. And there's the tires on them. And so here we go. Here are all the parts of our Corgi Ferrari 512S refurbished, repainted in Forza style and ready to go back together. So while I'm reassembling that, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Now, very play-worn example of a Corgi 512S here. There's not much paint left on that thing. It's missing its sticker at the front. It's got those tired old wheels on it. And a grody old cracked windscreen. Let's see if we can get it back to race ready condition. And here it is, our finished customized Corgi Ferrari 512S. Repainted in red Forza Horizon 4 style. It's been detailed. It's got nice new windscreen without a crack in it. And it's got those cool new wheels on it. I definitely think it's looking a lot cooler now. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you managed to get this car in Forza yet? Or maybe you might have even been lucky enough to see one of them in real life somewhere. Or maybe like most of us you just had the wee Corgi. A big thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. As always, extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks heaps. They help to support the channel through Patreon. If you'd like to join them, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description down below. 
There's also a link where you can get 10% off of some cool Starbond super glue and accelerators. It's great for all sorts of modeling. Thanks heaps for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more similar content, remember to subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.